Good afternoon class. I'll be teaching you mathematics class 8. The chapter I want to cover today is exponents, indices. So if you have your textbooks, you may follow it. I am using three textbooks today. Class 7, I'm using concise maths just to get you introduced from what you learned in class 7 so that you are comfortable going into class 8. Sometimes when you start with what you already know, you are more comfortable for something new. So, and I'll then be using uh, innovative maths for class 8 and innovative maths for class 9. I am using these abbreviations, concise maths for 7, innovative maths for 8, and innovative maths for 9. Okay? So, I may not, may not be... Uh, spelling it out exactly this is from concise maths or innovative I may just write concise maths 7 8 or so on now in your concise maths of class 7 you must have been introduced this topic in this way the teacher may have started by writing 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 how many times you know five times so how do you read that the factor of 3 is being multiplied 5 times by itself. Okay? And how do we write it? We write it as 3 raised to the power 5. Let me read that out again. The left side of the equation, the factor of 3 is being multiplied 5 times by itself. 3 is being multiplied 5 times by itself itself. On the right side, how do we read it? The number 5 is called the index and the number 3 is the base, if you remember. So, and it is read as 3 raised to the power 5. 3 raised to the power 5. This is from your concise maths class 7. Now, the next thing you may have learnt in class 7 was how to break up a bigger number like 625. 625, we want to write it in its exponential form. We want to write it in its exponential form. And we factorize it by prime factorization. And 625 can be taken as 5 into 5 into 5 into 5. You may check. Those who know practice. Prime factorization, I have already understood what I am saying, but if you go here, it is more clear to you. Is it not? Now, this is in factor form, prime factorization. I write it in exponential form, 5 to the power of 4. This is what you learned in class 7, if you remember. <clears throat> so, the exponential form of 625 is... 5 to the power of 4. Is that clear? This is what you learned from your concise maths books of class 7. If you want to check again, check from your old books. I want to move on now to your class 8 level. This was your introduction only, just to get you a little comfortable. So, the innovative maths introduces these topics this topic for class 8 as any number to the power of n. This is also there in your class 7 book, but I'm now building you up for class 8 level. Any number to the power of n can be written as in this way. a into a into a and we are leaving out the ones in between n times n times. So a to the power of n, the left side is in exponential form, the right side is in factor form. Okay, we are learning the different forms. Now this part, we have already discussed it, but we'll go through it again. a is known as the base of the exponent, exponential form, and n can be called the power. The index, there are different names for 
this we call it index exponent power you should not confuse it they are all the names for the same okay so this is your introduction starting from class 7 going into class 8 I am continuing with the innovative maths from class 8 now. Okay? Moving on to the law of exponents. The law of exponents and the properties or concepts that you will require to solve or simplify or evaluate any questions on exponents so you must know the laws the first law is called product law and what does this law say it says any number to the power of m of the same base you are taking a product a to the power of m into a to the power of n and this can be taken as a to the power of m plus n so the base is the same you are taking the product of two exponents base is the same the power is different so we take the base same and we add the powers let us look at an example 2 to the power of 3 into 2 to the power of 4 from this it will become easier to understand how to apply the law this example is useful for you to understand how to apply the law. So the base remains the same. Add the powers and you get 2 to the power of 7. That's easy. But let us prove this law. I'm not going to prove this law using variables. Let us prove this law from here using numerals or numbers. Now 2 to the power of 3 can be taken as 2 into 2 into 2 three times is that all right and 2 to the power of 4 can be taken as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 four times is that all right and if you are able to count how many twos are there 3 and 4 2 to the power of 7 is that proof useful for you to understand this law good now let us move to the next law. I will write all the laws here at the side because we will be using them later. 